Welcome back to ION New York. Today in health news, doctors are using stem cell therapy to treat everything from bad backs to bum knees. And it turns out your own stem cells may be the key to getting rid of those aches and pains. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports on a new cutting edge treatment. Robert Wilson is a lot like millions of baby boomers. Years of sports have left him with a couple of pretty bum knees. I couldn't bend my knees. I couldn't kneel on my knees. I couldn't bike. I couldn't even uh, walk for very long. The 52-year-old was looking at knee replacements in his near future until he came to the Rocky Mountain foothills near Denver, where a pioneering clinic is using adult stem cells to treat orthopedic problems. I actually make do cartilage uh, or repair uh, a ligament by becoming a piece of that ligament uh, or a, a tendon or bone if there's a defect in bone. The first step is what Wilson had done a few weeks ago, extracting adult stem cells from bone marrow in his hip. After the stem cells are extracted from the patient's own bone marrow, they're brought here to this lab where they're grown in special tissue culture to multiply their numbers, making sure there are millions to inject back in. Wilson is having a series of injections that deposit his stem cells in the arthritic areas. Knee MRIs of other patients show where new cartilage is growing in. X-rays of a broken arm that wouldn't heal show new bone after stem cell injections. Even more exciting, Kim Gilman was practically bedridden a year after spinal disc surgery. This pain was beyond anything I could possibly comprehend. It was, uh, it was truly crippling and more frightening than anything I've ever experienced in my life. Today, after stem cell injections, she's actually back to jogging. The promise is so great that more than a thousand clinical trials are testing stem cell therapy. That's why a company called NeoStem has begun banking people's own adult stem cells now, before you need them. You don't want to wait till it's too late. You don't want to wait till your stem cells or your body is damaged, has a cancer. You want to do that today before you get exposures that could damage your DNA and your stem cells. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS2 News. Another advantage to storing or using your own stem cells is that there's no risk of rejection or contracting infectious disease. If you're interested in this, uh, Dr. Robin Smith, who you just saw, CEO of NeoStem, joins us now with more information. And, and I do have a lot of questions. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so, so, again, these are my stem cells for me. I can't use yours. You, you can't use mine. They're your cells. Your body recognizes them as their own. So when they're put back to you, the engraftment or the taking in of the cells is much easier. It, does it hurt to take them? You know, it doesn't. Um, it's about a three-hour process. It's you watch a movie, you can do your BlackBerry and, and just relax. So it, it's not a big process at all. How does it work? What is the process involved? Well, you know, we all have stem cells in our bone marrow, and it's a way of getting the stem cells out into our bloodstream and then taking the stem cells from the blood. And by the midnight, your body recognizes the depletion. It makes the more stem cells, puts them back into the bloodstream, and you're back to where you were. Does age factor in? Um First of all, at what age are you eligible to do something like this? And if I'm 90 versus 40, my stem cells are older, I'm imagining, because I'm older. That's right. And as we get older, our stem cells become damaged. It's the natural aging process. And, of course, we have insults from the environment. So any radiation exposure, smoking, et cetera, causes a change in your DNA. So you want to have the stem cells collected as young as possible. But whether you're 20 or 40 or 60 or even 70, it's not too late. How do you store them? They're cryopreserved, meaning they get down to under 150 degrees, and they're in little aliquots that can be used for multiple treatments in the future. So it's a bioinsurance. Your cells are there for you when needed in the future. And how long do they last, though? Well, I mean, the medical literature says that your stem cells will outlive you, but with everything, there's always an end point. The FDA likes you to put an end point point to any of the products so we say for over 30 years and let's go over more again um, dr. Smith just the different types of, of possibilities for treatment with your own stem cells and we've talked sure. about aches and pains but it, there really is there really are uh, quite an extensive uh, number of different ailments diseases that they can be useful for right I mean we're used to bone marrow transplantation you have a cancer you have chemotherapy you need a new bone marrow and how do you get a new immune system? You get it through stem cells from another person. But now there's many clinical trials, over thousands, that are looking at using stem cells to repair damaged tissue. It's a regenerative process, whether it's cardiac, MS, lupus. It could be wounds from burns. It could, there's even cosmetic applications. So what we're finding in the clinical trials is stem cells repair your body. It's the way, it's a natural mechanism, but when you give it to the body in doses that are of higher quantity in the areas that need them, you 
get a repair process. So the clinical trials are looking to use stem cells after a heart attack to repair the tissue. It doesn't uh, improve the coronary artery disease, you still have blockages, but it can repair the tissue of the heart that was damaged from the event. That's a point I, I do want to explore just a little further because there can be this, oh my gosh, my stem cells are going to save me from, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not necessarily true. You know, there are don't risks know. and there are certain things we don't sure. know. We don't know. And we don't know specifically exactly how many cells, which are the exact specific type of cells that are better for heart versus maybe macular degeneration of the eye or your spinal cord. We don't know what is going to be used, but the literature is very promising and it's becoming so rapidly progressing of how you can use stem cells. You want to be prepared for the future. So there's many different diseases that are being looked at and we'll just have to see how how it advances. How much does it cost? It's not inexpensive. It's $7,500 and there's a 750 a year storage fee for your stem cells, but it's a bioinsurance. I mean, how much is your life worth to you? And so um, we have financing mechanisms so people don't have to pay for it all at once, but once they're stored, they're there. Dr. Robin Smith, thank you. Thank you for, for having, having us uh, understand this new option in health. Thanks. When we come back,